Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project Magnetic Reversal News in Shindran Yoku, bringing you a volcanic update Friday, September 3rd, 9 p.m. Mountain Time, 2021. You're looking at a former joculum, a major volcanic flooding event in Iceland from Grimsvot, and another one is brewing. But first, let's cover Kilauea Volcano in Hawaii. Recent magma inflation lifts the caldera by 18 centimeters. We've been reporting on this for over two weeks now, and the inflation is continuing as it pulses up and down. And the current data is telling us that the summit of the caldera has uplifted by as much as 18 centimeters during the recent earthquake swarms, which supports the interpretation that they had been caused by pulses of magma that intruded at shallow depths, which means there is an imminent eruption. Not today, maybe tomorrow, but definitely in the future. And this is caused by multiple pulses of magma intruding at shallow depths, thus causing the inflation of the ground to 18 centimeters. Now the inflation continues at a slow rate while the earthquake rates are back to normal levels, suggesting that the volcano tectonic events have come at least to a temporary halt, which is good news for the region. But people should be preparing in this area for the inevitable, another boom time. Maybe a Christmas boom. Who knows? But it's coming soon. And the magma is being in place south, actually from the south, at the lo Loki, I believe it is called Seamount down here. Here's the kind of Wakaiki campground in the middle of nowhere. But it is being in place from the south and moving up the flank. Now, this is bad news because we all know about uh, the potential for earthquakes here to slump off the Halina slump here into the bay, which would cause catastrophic tsunami. So... This is one of the scenarios that may happen. Now let's go over to Grimm's Vault, volcano in Iceland. Subglacial meltwater flood has begun in the last 24 hours, and the flood is in progress. Now these floods are called Joculups, or Jokula in Icelandic. Now when we were at university, and this is what, one of the things I studied in thermodynamics, it was my midterm, and in other scenarios... The Jokula is a major glacial flood. Now, let's just quickly go over what it actually is, according to the Wikishmedia. It's literally glacial run based on the interpretation of the language. It's a type of glacial outburst flood. It's an Icelandic term that has been adopted in glaciological terminology that was used as early as I was in academia before many of you were born in the 80s, <laughs> and has been accepted in many languages. It originally referred to the well-known subglacial outburst floods from Vantajökull, Iceland, which were triggered by geothermal heating and occasionally by volcanic subglacial eruptions. Now, what's happening now at Grimm's Voten is the same thing in a different scale. But it is now used to describe any large and abrupt release of water from a subglacial or proglacial lake or reservoir, especially in Iceland where this mostly happens. Now, since these jocula emerge from hydrostatically sealed lakes with floating levels far above the, above the threshold of the actual uh, Water levels, they're abrupt and completely insane. The largest floods ever recorded in history. And they're completely devastating and destructive downstream. Can you imagine if a trillion gallons of water were trapped under ice and all of a sudden let loose through a hole? We all need to... Yes. And that's the jocula. Now, Grimm's Voten, Volcano Iceland, is currently experiencing a jocula. And the glacial flood from the western meltwater reservoir under Vantajökull ice cap is in progress. 
the Skafta River has been carrying up to two, 520 cubic meters per second discharge. Now, just for scale, a big year here on the river, that's a whitewater river here in Pagosa Springs, would be about 2,000 cubic feet per second. So cubic meters per second, divide by three, and that would bring it to 700. So at 520 cubic meters per second, it's a huge discharge. The water exiting the glacier door contains dissolved hydrogen sulfide from the volcano's active fumaroles under the ice. So far, the only western meltwater reservoir has been involved. Now, this could increase, and we're going to keep a close eye on it, but it is a jocula mini, and I'll tell you why that, what that means. Here we see some of the subglacial meltwater discharges since 1850, some of the most significant. And then the volume here, I don't know what that has to do with maybe the total discharge, but we're looking at 520 cubic meters per second, and that is going to fall into the low range of Joculip. It, these floods have gone as high as 10,000 cubic meters per second, which would be a major 30,000 cubic feet per second or more. So huge events that affect, well, everyone downstream, obviously, at this major level. Take a look at just some of the Grimsvoten joculips from just a few years ago. And that's a boom. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. As subglacial meltwater may explode at any moment and increase epically. So if you live in the downstream regions of Grimsvoten, you are in our prayers, believe me. But this is a, not a unique event. It's something that we've studied at university level. It was my midterm exam. What was the heat budget of the largest joculip ever? And that would be T-Day or Don Yek. I don't know how to say these. I'm not from Iceland, for goodness sakes. But they result in a big boom and a big flood, a big outburst. And now what happens after these outbursts is significant. Because the pressure of the millions and trillions of gallons of water pushing down on that caldera are released. And that allows the magma to push up to the surface. So the majority of the time after a major subglacial meltwater flood like this occurs, there is a major volcanic eruption in Iceland. And that's what we're here to tell you about. We're not here to scare you. We're here to prepare you for the next boom. And that's a boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. As Iceland's Grimm's vote is about to go boom. Based on all science I have ever learned every day for the last 30 years. This is the one prediction. Well, that will probably come true like all the rest. Be safe. We love you. And that's a boom to knowledge. Oh, and click on one of the other boxes to gain more of it. And we'll see you soon over at Oppenheimer Ranch Project. Na -na -na.